A bigger, better bait program. Albuquerque police hope it'll get more thieves behind bars. KOAT Action 7 News reporter Regina Reese joins us to explain why it's not just cars being used to entice the crooks. Well, Shelley, police say back to school time, thieves target bikes and computers. So now they won't know if the bike or computer they're about to steal belongs to a student or to Albuquerque police. Bait car surveillance video captures people taking off with the vehicle that doesn't belong to them. The crooks don't know it actually belongs to police who let them go on a joy ride before putting them behind bars. Now that bait program is getting bigger. If you break into a car, if you steal property that doesn't belong to you, there's a good possibility that property belongs to the Albuquerque Police Department. Very soon, police will have more bait cars out and giving out these signs in a number of neighborhoods. What we're going to do is we're going to start flooding neighborhoods with these signs. We want the criminals to know that there are bait cars in that area. Police want to have more than just cars to catch more sticky fingered suspects. They will have bikes and computers too. Other popular targets for thieves. And the beefed up bait program won't just be in Albuquerque. The Bernalillo County Sheriff's Department is expanding its program, and Rio Rancho Police will start a new one. I think it makes sense for all of us to work together to make sure that the criminals know we're united in our stance against property crimes and we're united to work as hard as we can to take them into custody. APD says auto thefts have dropped by thousands in recent years and say the bait car program has a lot to do with the decline. Back to you. Continuing coverage now on problems at a Northwest Albuquerque park. City